Hey everybody, Scott here from Camco. We've got some questions about wiring the Kuma water heaters. We're going to do a quick unboxing and we're gonna show you what you need to do to get your Kuma water heater wired up to your boat. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the box. The first one we're gonna be talking about is the 120 volt. Get these panels open. You've got your instructions. Be sure to read those carefully. Just gonna remove this piece of styrofoam here real quick. So we can access the access panel. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the access panel with the four screws. So after we remove these screws, the very next thing you're gonna do, you've got two loose end wires in here. One is gonna be black and the other is going to be white. You're gonna find, you're gonna to wanna to find where those are located. Um, sometimes they're hidden underneath the uh, insulation. So you find which ones are loose. Got our loose black wire here. And we've got our loose white wire here. These are the ones that you're gonna connect the, uh, the boat cable to. So this is your high temp limiter for your 120 volt water heaters. You got the one black wire coming off of it and you've got your white wire coming off of your element. So typically the uh, wire that you're gonna be connecting to for a 120 volt is gonna have three wires. You're gonna have your white, which is your neutral, your black, which is your hot wire, and your green, which is your ground. Um, you're gonna run this wire through the strain relief clamp and you're gonna make your connection. Depending on which version of Kuma water heater you have, your ground connection may either be on the strain relief bracket or connected to the access panel. So you're gonna make your connection with your ground, uh, green to the ground, and you're gonna connect your black wire to the, the loose end black wire on your water heater, and you're gonna connect your white to the loose end white wire on your water heater. Then you're gonna seal it back up, and you're good to go. With uh, 240 volt, the process is gonna be pretty much the same. This is your uh, what your 240 volt Kuma water heater is gonna look like. This is your high temp limiter. We've got the loose white wire coming off the high temp limiter and we've got the black wire coming off of the high temp limiter. This is typically what the wire is gonna look like coming into your water heater from your boat. It's a four conductor cable. We're gonna have green for ground, we're gonna have white for neutral, and we're gonna have two hots, a red and a black typically. In order to hook this up, you're going to uh, run your cable through your strain relief clamp, and you're gonna connect your green to your ground. This particular water heater, we've got the ground connected to the access panel. Uh, we stopped doing that after a certain date uh, due to uh, revision in the standards. We're gonna connect our white to the loose white wire, and we're gonna connect the uh, black and red hot wires to the black hot wire coming off of the water heater. Be sure to check the ABYC and Coast Guard regulations for proper wiring for boats. And if you're not sure what you're doing, probably should get an electrician to hook this thing up for you. And after you make your connections, you're gonna put the access panel back on and uh, make all of your other water heater connections and make sure it's filled with water before you turn it on. So that about wraps it up for wiring up your Kuma water heater. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below or email us at info at camco.net. Camco.net.